What's the 4 on 1, your smart source for urban and lifestyle and entertainment news. I'm Kizzy Cox. I'm Onika McLean. And it's her birthday! Yeah, woo 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 So we turning up. We turning up, but... What we going to talk about glitter? Don't... We don't want to talk about glitter, but we want to remember glitter. Okay, my cat yeah. died on my birthday, guys. Doesn't that suck? It, it does. Okay, so... It, it does, so we have to drink. We need in order drink. to We need to drink. We need to drink. Look, I'm going to shake. You don't spill this right. good wine. Oh, <laughs> you know how the alcohol is even. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. So cheers, cheers to glitter. And to life, and to your birthday, and blessings, and many more. And yes. for cats dying no. on your birthday. Who does that? No. Like, no. what is... No, we're not, we're not cheering to that. No. Okay. In memory, to, in loving memory. In loving memory of my cat that I have for 16 years. Like, look how long I had that cat. Like, now I'm going to have to, like, get a boyfriend. Like, this is bullshit. Okay. <laughs> I should start shaking like the people are good. <laughs> I ain't even drinking. No, I ain't even drinking. Okay, you got you to gotta look me in the eye, too. Okay. <laughs> what you got on quick takes, girl? Go ahead. <laughs> Okay, so uh, we 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 starting to show off with some not so good news, but we're starting off the quick takes with some great news. So you know, we all love Tyler Perry, right? So TMZ, I, I mean he I okay. I I love Tyler do Perry. Do you why? I do because I think he does a lot of good for the community and has created a lot of opportunities for people of color in the movies that wouldn't have. Yeah, you're right. Okay, I'm, so, I'm messing with you, Tyler Perry. You know he coming for your edges. My and edges he, are coming back. Let me tell you, look. They're, they're going to go. It's the BB Judy. Uh, the real BB Judy, the miracle drops. Like, it is really, okay, go ahead, Tyler Perry. Yes, Tyler Perry, we digress. So TMZ is reporting that Tyler Perry actually dropped $350,000 on a house in Georgia. and oh, that's gave, a baby mansion. Listen, for real. And he gave the, listen, it wasn't for him. He actually gave the house to the ailing mother of LaShawn Pace. And this is a gospel singer and an actress who worked alongside him in a play all the way back in 1999. Is she alive, LaShawn? Yes, and, and the mother. So it was for the mother, and it was the mother's dying wish to have a house that she could give on to her family. Oh, and so, so he, she gets to keep that house and then air, and, and then yeah. give it up? Oh, okay, because I thought maybe you would just take it back. Okay. No, no Tyler. I'm just not happy. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's so nice. That is a beautiful thing. And that's the kind of guy that Tyler Perry is. I've heard about other acts of generosity that he's done. So like, go what? Tyler. like what? Like what? Like one time he said, like one of the actresses on one of his shows that he was working on, he said one time he just had like a like a little like contest. He was like, I want to give out a thousand dollars to everybody who does X. And it was like, put a piece of paper in like a bowl or something like that. Something very basic. Mm -hmm. And so, of course, everybody was like, let me put this in here. And you know what? He wound up giving out $25,000 in just that one. Oh, that's that, nice. Just in one fell swoop, just for no reason at all. Just to give away. Little money. baby Oprah. You know, because that's what Oprah does. So, yeah. Unlike Tyler Perry and Oprah, right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, on my little radar is Kanye and uh, Lil Wayne. Oh, is it Yay now? Oh, it's is he called Yay. Yay now? Yay, but that's 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 the name of the album too. Yay, right? It's something. Yeah, Yay, and uh, and it's the something. part of five. I listened to both of those albums. Amazing. Oh, you loved it. You yeah. loved it. I mean, no, no, I really loved. The Carter Five, like I, I, I listened to it like a, four times already. Twenty three tracks. It's ridiculous. He starts off. Little Wayne starts off with his mom like crying. Were you doing the uproar him. challenge too? Yeah, it was. Just Are you doing the uproar challenge with the shake, the Harlem Shake? And no, I'm not. But I was really, you, really feeling this Carter Five. I'm really, and I was like, I need to know what Kanye is about to oh, do, right? So I did the yay. It, it, it was well, dope, but. They, they both talking a lot of demon stuff, like killing yourself, and I was going to shoot myself. There was a lot going on in these two, okay. these two albums. Well, I know. I only you know. you have not downloaded it or streamed it, you guys really need to. I have not listened to either one, but I have heard the song, you, The yeah. Where the Love Go. Where the Love? Yeah, five, four, three, two. 
I let one go. Yeah, I've heard that. Yeah, and I've seen the uproar challenge everywhere. It's everywhere. It's all over it's Instagram. A, it's a, why is everything a challenge? Because it's, you know this what you should challenge? Y'all need to challenge your credit score. Get your shit up. Get your, I mean, okay. <laughs> but, so wait. So but wait. Okay. Kanye was acting crazy. That's what I heard. <laughs> He's always yeah. acting crazy. He was so, on SNL. So I saw crazy. him on SNL. Everybody saw him on SNL, right? He was like dressed up like a, a water bottle. A Perrier bottle, yeah. I didn't get that. Okay. I don't get any of it. But you know what was crazy? When he left the show, well, actually when he was still on the show and he started going on this whole, like, Make America Great Again rant and how Trump is, he had you know, the mess. And he just went in just on this Trump love and tirade. And then after, he actually tweeted out a picture with him with the hat. And here's what he tweeted, which got everybody up in arms. Everybody. All right. Mm -hmm. He said, this, meaning the hat, mm -hmm. represents good and America becoming whole again. We will no longer outsource to other countries. We build factories here in America and create jobs. We will provide jobs for all who are free from prisons as we abolish the 13th Amendment. Abolish the 13th Message sent what? with love. Yes, the 13th Amendment that abolished slavery. He wants to get rid of that amendment. And so everybody was like, yo, Kanye. Maybe we know, should add the link, right? Maybe It's maybe crazy. Like one Kanye person was link. like, who Michael Rappaport, he was like, when you say we, you're talking about Kendall and them, right? Because you're not speaking for anybody else up in here. <laughs> that was one. And then Soledad O'Brien, you know, the journalist, uh -huh. she was like, the 13th Amendment abolished slavery. Re-upping this from the last time, at yay, is truly an idiot. Aww. Message sent with distaste for idiocy. They, and and they, went, they went for it. Chris, Chris Rock recorded it. Chris Rock right. he recorded, recorded it. He was like, oh my God, I can't believe he's saying this. But Kanye was like, they bullied me. They didn't want me to come out with my hat on. And, and President Trump said... Kanye is leading the charge. That's what he said. Of course, said, he, of oh course he's going to support that, him because he loves crazy. everybody who, you know, strokes his ego. But okay. the thing is, but the thing is, wait, Kanye West then revealed he's off his meds again. Yeah, well, so well you, know that he, made you know sense. that he's off his meds again. Okay, so now I'm just going to go with Carter Five because Carter Five is already going to be like <laughs> She went right back to Carter Five. Yeah, forget about Kanye. Gonna, because you know what? Weezy took like almost between four to six years to come out with this album because of his case against okay. Cash Money with right. Baby and all that stuff. He sued them for $51 million and they settled for an undisclosed amount of money. But Wheezy is the one who who uh, recognized, um, who brought Nicki Minaj mm -hmm. and Drake. Right. So he made those boys a lot, a lot, a lot of money. Right. Well, so just having this this like debut album being so phenomenal it's ridiculous so big up little wayne all right big up this is a little real wayne. little wheezy fan right no, here no i mean obviously. you have he's singing with Nicki minaj kendrick lamar's on it he has a swiss beat I, when i say it is like well, that's prolific where the, the challenge came from. please do it please do it because right download it buy it just support little wayne do it for her birthday y'all do it for her birthday all right. So, Every time you say my birthday, I think about glitter. So, okay. You know what? No. All right. <laughs> so, we're moving on from one artist to another. Mm -hmm. You know, Rapper Nelly, right? We talked about him a few few months ago, actually. It's you know, getting mm hot in here. It was too hot. Okay, sorry. Go ahead. Yeah. So, Monique Green, um, who filed the suit against Nelly, alleging that he forced her to have sex on a tour bus, Monique Green and Nelly have come to a settlement. Um, but terms of the settlement have not been disclosed. I'm but they have, they've settled. I'm going to do so. this. Beep, 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 beep. Mm -hmm. Ask me what that is. Beep, uh, beep, I don't know beep, what that is. Beep, like his, his career on life support? Uh, I don't know. Uh, it's the Brinks truck backing up. Because <laughs> <laughs> that's how much money she got. Trust me. What? Yeah. What? What? Are you yeah. kidding me? Okay. Speaking yeah. of money, whore. Uh, okay. Um, speak, speaking of money, Jeez. Stormy Daniels. Jeez. Turn Stormy, the lights off. Stormy Jeez. Daniels. Stormy Daniels, right? So remember when she got arrested for working the strip club in Ohio? Yeah, remember that? Yes, okay. Do, so the police chief apologized to Stormy Daniels. Why? Uh, he said that she should not have been arrested. Okay. And that he also requested that the FBI open up a public corruption uh, task force and and do do a um, what do you call that thing? An, an investigation. investigation. Really? An investigation. I mean, like so they are like coming. For Donald Trump, like Stormy Daniels is a pornographic 
Okay, I can't. A porn Amer- actress, yes. America. Like she's all, but and she's okay with that. She she embraces it. She doesn't even play. Let me tell you. But, she, uh, but if it was any other person, uh, any other ethnicity, this she would not be getting this kind of shine. Like, come on, this is all because they just want to try to take down Trump. But they're not going to take down Trump. You have to care. Trump gives zero. Well, I mean, she's told her story many times now. She says she's suing to get out of, you know, the whole NDA. But, I mean, we've all heard the story, like, at this point. So I'm like... It's ridiculous. But, yeah, Stormy Daniels doing her thing. She doesn't care. Mm. But you know how who else is doing their thing right now? Who? Jeffrey Owens. Oh, okay. So, you know, remember we talked about him several weeks ago. Jeffrey Owens used to be oh, on the Trader Cosby. Trader Joe's guy. Cos- yep, he used to be on the Cosby show. Mm-hmm. And he was working at Trader Joe's. Somebody took a picture of him. And then Fox News disseminated it all over the place. And then people were trying to shame him. Mm-hmm. And doop, doop, that didn't happen. Uh, Tyler Perry came forward and said, you know what? If you want to work on my show... You are welcome to work on the show. And so Owens is going to appear on 10 episodes, 10 of the haves and the have-nots on OWN. I so, wonder if he's going to be the have-not. or the, Okay, sorry. Um, You know this shadiness will not end. It's because my it's cat It's another died. year. It's another <laughs> year still. Look at that. No, I'm going to be a better person you this year. You need to drink up. I, I, no, you drink up. No, you drink up because I'm nice. You need to drink up. Okay. You're, you're <laughs> not nice. I you're just nice. being nice with a camera. Okay. Whatever. Because let me tell you what happened. I called her about my cat yesterday, and she started giggling. All the lies. Okay. All the lies. We'll act like this did not happen. (laughs) She giggled. She giggled. She was like, because I was telling her about, like, all this stuff about the cat. And and, and what we're going to do is take a quick break. (laughs) And in the meantime, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel, What's the Four on One TV. And if you're listening to us on a podcast or the Alexa Flash Briefing, Thank you so much. Now go out, tell a friend, and both of you, subscribe. Yes. All right? Yes. But anyway. We'll be right back with What's Poppin'. Stay tuned. Welcome back to What's the 411. Now we've got some bad news and some sad news. Bill Cosby, he was once America's dad. He is now in prison. He was sentenced to three to ten years in prison for um, aggravated indecent assault. Yeah, three counts of it, in fact. And uh, the judge agreed with the prosecutors that Cosby is a sexually violent predator. And yeah, so he's he's there right now. He's there right now. Can you believe it? I, I didn't even know if they were actually going to give him a sentence that long. And so a lot of people are saying that it might be too long and should they have done that for he's 81? I think so. But what do you think? Yeah, he's 81 years old. I just, I'm just... I'm just still taken aback that he got a sentence because what about Weinstein? What about the Weinstein rest of these is time? currently getting yeah. What he's, about he's trial started? What about Trump? Like, oh, you know what I'm trying to say? Like see. it just it not not that I'm belittling that the Me Too movement because it's a new day. It mm-hmm. is really Absolutely. really a new day. So all of that, you know, we're at a party at work and someone is inappropriate mm-hmm. and, and it's okay or you got to try to ignore it. That is like not yeah. the case anymore, which is so crazy because that's been, as a woman in her 40s, that's been my norm. You just kind of like ignore it and try and to you duck and to dodge. Do and you, you really have do don't that. have to do that, but right. it's just been something that has been just like an unspoken rule. And now that is shifting and it's crazy, but in my mind, like Bill Cosby... Right, don't get confused with he, Cliff, Huxtable, oh, and Bill right. Cosby, right? Exactly. It is right. a completely different man. And like you said, Me Too movement, it's a new day. Remember Larry Nasser? Yeah. Uh, yeah, he the, was a doctor for the, you know, U.S. gymnastics team. He got, he got sentenced to hundreds of years, not like a hundred years, hundreds of of years in so prison. So what about Matt Lauer? So like because there's so many of them. What about Louis C.K.? What about uh, yeah. Lisa Sorry? Like it's so many. It's it's a lot of them. It's, it's so lot many. Of them. So is everybody it's getting convicted? Like because I know what's gonna happen with Bill Cosby, and and I just like he's so old, but I know what's gonna happen with Bill Cosby is they're gonna sue him civilly. Like so many people that don't have don't meet the standard for the criminal intent, they're gonna sue him civilly. Civilly and Camille right. has stayed on. So. Like what's gonna happen financially? I, for I, him? I don't I don't know. Um, but yeah, like it's so to much to think about. But it's so many that like Matt Lauer, like, what shit? What about NBC? 
You know well, what I mean? Like it's so much. It's 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 been it's been a well, what, status what you, quo. What it's would, been the culture. So it's been what a would rape you culture. Say what should happen? What should well? What's gonna happen is people are gonna start going to jail for it, and then people well, yeah. are gonna get sued civilly. I did not think that Bill Cosby was gonna go to jail. I promise you. Yeah, I did but not think that. I'm it's like, a new day. What? It is really a new, a new day. day. And you, I think Harvey Weinstein is gonna go to jail for a very long time too. Like those felony convictions can carry up to a life sentence. They're mm -hmm. not playing. Mm -hmm. So we'll see what happens with Harvey Weinstein. But this is the reckoning. Bill Cosby is the first. I think. To fall in the wake of Me Too, and we're just going to have more and more. Let of me that. tell you something. I, it was Freak Neek. It was 1986. I just hope nobody come up saying no shit that I did. You know what? Stop the madness. Okay. We need to stop. Okay. Um. That was comedy, right? That was comedy because I needed to break that up because it was a little too uh, thick <laughs> in here. And so, <laughs> so you go on to some more comedy. <laughs> more comedy. Like, yuck, yuck Cat out. Williams. Kevin Hart. Tiffany Haddish. Hmm. Uh. The, the did you see have you have you have you have you seen all that has yeah, happened I've with seen that? The, I've been seeing the drama. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. I've seen the drama. So Cat Williams made some statements about Tiffany Haddish, Harris, um um uh, what was his what, Kevin Hart. Kevin Hart, um um uh, Gerard Carmichael, oh. uh Little Rel, it's just a whole bunch of them. And okay. what and when I watched the video and what I took from it is Cat Williams are really talking about the establishment, how it's set up and how how we as comedians are being played by the establishment that is set up, right? Okay, so then he was being a little mean. Um, it was a, a an Atlanta morning show, is a Frank and Wanda, yeah, morning, yeah, right? So it was like 103.9 or something like that, and it was like it was like a banter going back. The, the one of the hosts came for Cat Williams and just literally he was <laughs> talking about his hair and, ah. then, and then his suit and he just like let her have it mm -hmm. and then he talked about some other stuff with Tiffany Haddish and it wasn't like so so um, nice. Right? right. And then Kevin Hart clapped back. Back back. All the way back. All the way back. So Kevin Hart clapped back and then Tiffany had it on the Breakfast Club. We, we saw that. Well yeah because I you know because I didn't see the whole thing with Cat Williams. Oh, I didn't I did. watch that whole thing. Mm -hmm. What I saw was afterwards what people were saying about what he said and how he sounded like he was a hater. And then Kevin Hart came on and said, "Listen, they brother." They called him a crackhead. Basically. Right, basically, he basically and, <laughs> and, him a and Mike Epps. He was like Mike Epps. Oh yeah, you doing drugs, but who's no, no. But that's what he, that's his point. His point is, listen, you're talking about the establishment setting things up for certain comedians to succeed, right? Mm -mm. But he's like, at the end of the day, what about your choices? What have you done? Showing up late to shows. What's going on with all the drug use? You have responsibility for, you know, the demise of your own career. So don't come for, you know, my girl, Tiffany Haddish. So basically, you know. But did, Tiffany you know, Haddish and Cat Williams. He stood up later They pieced it up at the Emmys, yeah. right? And yeah. so, like, they both have very good points. I just feel like Cat Williams was not really targeting uh, Kevin Hart on the onset, but then once to clap, clap back, now he, now he just goes crazy. Like every time I try to like defend Cat Williams, it because he is a doggone comedic genius. Like have you, Cat Williams is so funny it does not make sense. But like but then he starts saying the mean stuff. Like I'm like Cat, don't say that. I think, I'm trying to root for the underdog. But yeah, just I, guess, I think he's funnier than Kevin Hart. He's well, he's funnier than most comedians, and that was his thing. He said he said that Lunell needs to get a spot, and Adele Givens needs to get a chance, and some more. And all these comedians right. that've been doing it for thirty plus years, like where's their opportunity? And he said that what what Hollywood is doing subliminally is saying as as long as you have like have sex with like a white guy, then we'll we'll bring you in. And then Tiffany Hatch was like, "What are you talking what about? What are you talking about that?" And then that happened. I but what happened in the movie? He, she said something like, "Brad Pitt can get it, right?" And so he's that's, reaching. But, he's reaching. But that's what he was talking about. I don't think that. Okay, so he's reaching out. He's he's reaching and he's trying hard, but he needs to like just. But Kevin Hart get it together and do for some do some and, good shows. And, and, and like they both have consistent. very valid points. I think that uh, Cat Williams is very consistent. He's very very hard working. But I think that what's He's not very hardworking. He is. He does shows all over the country all Yo, the time. He's had some real run-ins though. Some real with the like, law, like with the law and acting crazy and the crack. Listen, I don't. You think you're on crack? He was on something. I don't know, but I do know <laughs> that they're all all <laughs> the like, above. He's a comedian. Are very very funny people, and I right. just feel as if like listening to the banter back and forth. Uh huh. Taught me so many lessons, and it was about producing, about waiting. 
for you know the big white media whomever to come in on this horse and save your day you shouldn't do that because what they were arguing about was who owned their specials like okay you know like it's it's really about owning your creative outlet like okay it. just like prince says and everyone else says okay you know, don't wait for the record deal because if you wait for the record deal you're going to get not the lion's share mm -hmm. of your creativity well, that's, you know, and, and that's what they were both kind of saying they were like who right and it, it it was a i, I like that they were arguing because it's like just watching kings Okay. Go back and forth, and you can get the little. You know, okay. The well, you you, you felt table. like that you got something. I, from I, I felt that I got something for it. I, I I know that people are looking at it like, oh, you know, they're just being big old babies or whatever. But Cat Williams holds the, um, Cat Williams is very very funny. Uh, Kevin Hart holds the top spot. It just is what it is, it and is. they're just very different. One is crossover market, like right, and one is it's it's just it's just like I guess. What Red Fox would be, right? To okay. To yeah. Um, who else? Who else is crossover, right? Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm not sure. I would have said Bill Cosby. You would have said that's Bill Cosby. Now. Right, but right, but like, <laughs> and what they <laughs> say when you now. listen to comedians, they'll say like they're they're comedians right. that are at the back of the club and they're like doing drugs and doing this and then, <laughs> and, then and there's comedians at the front of the club that are crossover, like it's so Dave Letterman okay. and and Bill Cosby and all of those people, and then it was like you know well, listen, Richard Pryor and. Because it's a thing, right? right? Comedy, it stems from pain. Right. Th those those people are broken. Every I, They're all broken. I they're not it. pastors. Well, right. Well, this so, is why you're a comedian, too. I'm, no, you, I, yeah, I'm broken. You, you, I, I think everyone comedian. is. I think that the last phase of anything is can laugh at it. Like, damn. I, right. Are you I was, I was stupid as hell. Well, I'm not laughing about glitter. But and I'm not laughing about Bill Cosby. <laughs> oh my God. And you know who else is not laugh? laughing? You know who else is not laughing? <laughs> Brett Kavanaugh not laughing. He was appalled. Tell us about it. Tell Listen, us about it. We're more than appalled. Oh my God! Piping hot tea, piping hot the wine. But listen. Brett Kavanaugh came out there, guns blazing. <laughs> I mean, he was he cry? practically foaming at the mouth and how angry. Wait, he, he cried. Did you see Hall of Nights when Arsenio Hall was like, you shot my brother, you shot my brother, bah, 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 bah. And he was crying. No, okay. Hall of Nights. Okay, sorry. That's okay, what Brett, Brett Kavanaugh reminded me of because he was like so pissed. And then he was like, and then. And I was like, this is... No, no, Brett Kavanaugh... You know who nailed him? Matt Damon on SNL. Matt Damon came out there and he was exactly... You know when comedy is good? When you can't tell the difference between what actually happened <laughs> in comedy? I was like, this is basically it. He came out there guns blazing. Um, Yeah. It's really funny to me because you saw Dr. Blasey Ford, right? Uh -huh. She came out there and she's like, I am terrified. I didn't want to do this, but I felt like it was my civic duty. And you just saw her push through it. She was crying, but it was very like, you know what? I am pushing through this pain, and I'm going to say it in a very measured way. And then you see, contrast that with Brett Kavanaugh coming out there. How dare you talk about because my family? Because the Republicans then, said that he was not appalled enough. Exactly. And so he was like working according to script, you know, and acting like Trump. So to speak, he really was. You know, you know, this is a conspiracy. The Democrats are coming. They're punishing yeah. me because of the Clintons. And it was so great. And I'm like, exactly. Right. But this was the funny part. When they asked him a question, they were like, do you get drunk? Eric, do you get drunk? Do you? <laughs> what? Do you, do you have black it was, and I'm like, it was like, and then it's, it was privilege was like apparent. It's that was crazy. so much privilege and so much. And it's like he thinks he deserves to be on the Supreme right. Court. He said, I was at Yale. I didn't even have a hookup. Like, everybody have a hookup. His grandfather went to Yale. Like, he's a legacy student. So that was straight up a lie right there. So my thing is, can you imagine if this was a woman acting like that? A woman going to the Supreme Court and came out there yelling and angry. They would have been calling her hysterical, yeah, crazy. Hysterical. Oh, my gosh. She doesn't have the temperament. Emotional, emotional. Over it's emotional. It's always emotional. Hysterical is the Let word. Let me tell you who like should be pissed, right? And who should be yeah. pissed is Anita Hill. Well, like... Yeah. I, I, I'm just like, and, and to me, I just feel like, and I, you know, I don't really play the black and white card, but I feel like because it's a white woman, if it was a, any other ethnicity, I think that it would be a totally different. In um, what way? In what sense? They just wouldn't. The I, reason why Anita Hill was uh, up against Clarence Thomas is because it was Clarence Thomas. 
Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? They would have kind of like, sh they meaning well, you the mean, Republican they were both Party would have yeah, shut it down. I just feel like it, the Me Too movement, it like, it, it seemed a little staged. Even Dr. Ford, like the photo when she was doing like this, like it was the clock behind her. It was like, time's up in my mind. I was like, there's <laughs> okay. just a lot going on. I just don't trust the government at this point. It's just, I don't I'm know. Just, I mean, not, mm -hmm. I don't know about the racist element in this in particular, but I do definitely think that there's a gender issue. Absolutely. Cause because she, she was describing no woman could have come out there and acted the way he did. And and still been but like she, a nominee for the Supreme Court. They would they would have it would have been over. And then they're like, oh, it makes it it makes him seem like it's so authentic because you know if someone accuses you of rape, you come out hard. And they were making excuses. And I'm like, it's so interesting. I saw this online. I can't remember who it was. Someone a lot smarter than me. Was crazy a little bit too because it yeah. said the alum. He said he was like Sally Joe's alum. That's what he wrote in yeah. in his yearbook. Yeah, so he was a bit of a little Renee, douche. Like come on. yeah, yeah, that whole thing. But it was like somebody said this really and really smart. They were like, you know, it's interesting who gets to have feelings in this society. But you know who gets to have white male. They, they have, get to they be get women. To have, they, have, they get to be women and they have, get to have feelings. They get to have everything. That's and, the thing. They and, get to have thing. And so what do you think is this going said, to happen? They said hell has no fury like a a, a a white man being denied. <laughs> oh wow. Wow. <laughs> I was like that because that's how he had. It was true. It's it crazy. was crazy. But what do you think is gonna happen now? Because do you think the Me Too, we've talked about Me Too, you know, in so terms of Bill Cosby, what do you think is going to happen with Brett Kavanaugh? Do you think he's going to push through and they're going to push his nomination through and he's going to get confirmed to the Supreme Court? Or do you think Me Too is going to take him down? I think that he's going to get confirmed. I'm going to say I think he's going to get confirmed too and it is a sad day. It is a sad day. Because even if you, if you even take out the sexual assault, just the fact that he was lying under oath, over and over again about he should have just said, said stuff like he doesn't recall like uh, Oliver North. That's a good, you know, because I mean they've been lying under oath forever. Like that's just what happens. Don't ask me any questions. You know exactly what this is. So and it, it just yeah. So that's America, like, but that's this, not, is America. this is America. This is America. This is America. It is really sad. It is really sad. And it, and it, this is what happens when you have somebody who's been credibly accused of sexual assault, President Donald Trump as president. And he's never gotten any when, type of when I, back, no real backlash, no criminal, nothing. When I listened to uh, Dr. Ford's statement, I was like, shh. I know it sounds like I don't have any feelings, but I do have a lot of feelings. Because me too, hashtag, right? But she was just describing a lot of Saturday nights. You know what I'm trying to say? In which is house, unfortunate. Drinking beer. Which is terrible. Shh. Like, which is terrible. That's why people say, don't go, don't go to anybody, don't go to the party, but yeah. stay with each other. Why? Because that is something that totally happens. And, and it lot. shouldn't. And it shouldn't. Your birthday edition of the show has come to an end. That's going to do it for this week's edition of What's the 4 and one your smart source for urban lifestyle and entertainment news. Okay, so hit us up on our website, which is... Uh, what's the 411.com? Yes, and hit us up on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and subscribe. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, What's the 411 TV. Hey, I'm Lisa Cox, and, and I'm on Lisa. behalf of my crazy host, Onika McQueen, thank you for watching. Glitter. What's the 411? We'll Glitter. see you next time.